Well, a David Marquet, Turn the Ship Around, a true story of turning followers into leaders. Are you struggling to find satisfaction in your job? Join the numerous unsatisfied workers navigating through a world of increasing productivity demands and cognitive tasks. Turn the Ship Around, a true story of turning followers into leaders by L. David Marquet offers an alternative to the outdated leader-follower organizational approach, highlighting the benefits of a leader-leader structure. In this summary, explore how empowering all team members, distributing decision-making power, and upholding core values can transform an organization's performance and improve employee satisfaction. Discover Marquet's first-hand experience in applying these principles on the USS Santa Fe, and learn how to adapt them to your own work environment. The Flaws of Leader-Follower Approach Are you satisfied with your job? Apparently, job satisfaction in the U.S. has hit rock bottom in the past decade. At the same time, there has been a significant drop in productivity, resulting in a loss of up to $300 billion due to productivity issues in the U.S. alone. To make things worse, the U.S. unemployment rate increased to 9% for a record of 31 months, up to November 2011. To tackle these symptoms, we need to scrutinize the structures and organizations of leadership that we have maintained for centuries. The leader-follower approach has been in practice for ages, perfectly suited for delegating menial tasks among workers, but unsuited for cognitive tasks and decision-making roles. It is time to revolutionize our idea of leadership to empower and truly satisfy workers. Leading with a leader-leader structure the book proposes a leader-leader system as an effective approach to leadership that empowers individuals at all levels of an organization. In a leader-leader system, decision-making power is distributed throughout the chain of command, allowing individuals to act promptly and effectively on new information. The author illustrates this approach with a first-hand account of turning around the performance of a nuclear-powered submarine in the U.S. Navy using a leader-leader structure. This approach proved successful in improving crew retention rates, tactical effectiveness, and overall performance of the ship. The book emphasizes that leadership is not limited to a select few, and that a leader-leader approach is key to creating a satisfied and empowered workforce. The next parts of the book provide guidance on how to implement this approach. The Leader-Leader Approach Establishing a leader-leader approach that empowers employees to make decisions begins with redefining the organization's DNA. It requires managers to relinquish some of their power to create sustainable change. The USS Santa Fe implemented this approach by passing control down the chain of command to chiefs responsible for each division, granting them greater responsibility for decision-making. This led to an increase in efficiency and workforce passion for performance. To actively involve the entire crew, they used a simple three-word phrase, I intend to, the pillars of competence and clarity are key to sustaining a successful leader-leader system. Boosting Employee Competence The book illustrates practical mechanisms to ensure employees' competence levels, making them ready for more responsibility. On the USS Santa Fe, the captain introduced deliberate action to reduce errors and took an innovative approach in assigning tasks, shifting the emphasis to certifying instead of briefing. By making crew members answer questions about their assigned tasks, the team's attentiveness was detected and addressed. The result was a boost in both employee satisfaction and performance, leading to the highest grade ever given to the nuclear reactor operations inspections. Inspiring Core Values in a Leader-Leader Organization In a leader-leader organization, every employee has the power to make decisions. To promote unity and productivity, it's crucial to uphold core values. One method is to inspire employees with the company's legacy, as demonstrated by the USS Santa Fe. Apple holds conferences to reinforce their history of innovation and, thinking differently, philosophy. Rewards should be structured to promote camaraderie, with man versus nature rewards being more productive than man versus man. By adopting a leader leader approach, organizations can increase productivity and empower workers.
In conclusion, turn the ship around. Encourages organizations to break free from the limiting leader-follower approach by embracing a leader-leader system. In this new structure, decisions are made by individuals empowered at all levels, resulting in increased efficiency, innovation, and satisfaction. By instilling mechanisms for building competence, taking deliberate action, reinforcing core values, and fostering camaraderie, your organization can experience a remarkable transformation. Just as the USS Santa Fe saw tremendous success under Marquet's leadership, adopting these principles and strategies in businesses across various industries can lead to a more united, productive, and empowered workforce.